What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here, and today, I am not in a good place. I am not in a good mood. I'm a little angry at myself, and I just... Let's talk. However, before we get into any of that, I do want to talk to you guys about the Angry Grandpa store because a lot of people had some questions. For the past couple of years, the Angry Grandpa store has been in the hands of Broadband TV and they have just done an amazing job with the Angry Grandpa brand. They've done so much stuff from shirts to welcome mats to the plush toy that you guys got for Christmas last year. Broadband TV has been absolutely amazing, and I want to thank them for everything that they've done. I just have other stuff that I want to do, other stuff that I want to focus on, and so I need to take the time off from that store so I can focus on these other things. But I promise you, I'm going to really try my hardest to find the right fit for the Angry Grandpa store. So as of now, the store is going away. Click the link below if you want to get some stuff from the Angry Grandpa store while it's available because it is going down by the end of October. It might be the next couple of weeks. I don't really know. But guys, click the link below. Get yourself something while you still can. The real reason I'm sitting here right now is not to talk about the store. It's to talk about my weight. Because I am getting so sick of getting fatter and fatter and fatter fatter and not realizing it until it's too late and I gotta do something about it and I know you guys are tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of talking about it. Every time I start a diet I start doing good and I'm happy and I fuck it all up and I really don't know why that is. I just why can't I just lose weight? You know dad used to always tell me Mike first thing you're doing goddamn wrong is calling it a diet. It ain't a goddamn diet okay? It's a lifestyle choice. Change your goddamn life. Okay, goddamn you fat. And you're right, Dad, I can't call it a diet. It can't be a diet, it has to be a lifestyle change. I just can't seem to stick to it. Earlier this year, I was on the right track, I got rid of my diabetes, I dropped down to 360 pounds, and then I started eating again, and I went up to 375, and I was like, you know what? I gotta stop this whole thing right now. Then Bridget got pregnant, and I have never been able to lose weight since. Meanwhile, Bridget has actually lost weight while she's been pregnant. Like, what the f is this? I'm eating for two, okay? Or three, or four, or five, and I gotta do something about it. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of talking about it and just not doing it. I don't get how much one person can eat. Where am I putting it? How much am I and not realizing it? Like, Jesus Christ, Michael, you gotta do something. This is supposed to be my wake-up call. Your wake-up call was supposed to be when you got diabetes, but that didn't work, so do it now. You have a child coming, you have to lose weight, or you're gonna drop dead of a heart attack, and that's not what I want. I don't want that to happen to me. I've gotta do something fast. I've gotta do something. So this is my announcement, you guys. I'm back on a diet. I can't keep doing this. Let's go weigh myself. Hate weighing myself on camera, dude. I know, it's the worst. How many weigh-ins am I gonna have where the number just keeps going up? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Let's change that. I gotta lose weight. You lost four pounds in this pregnancy. Somehow. Congratulations. All right, last time I weighed myself on camera, I was like 375. I don't wanna know. I think I'm back to 400. No. I'm back to 400. No, you're not. I have to be. I can feel the diabetes in my hand. Oh my God. Okay, I'm doing the shake myself, but it ain't long before it's doing it on its own. <laughs> Here we go. Wait. What? Ah, good thinking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. All right. Wait. What? Michael, get on the damn scale. Every single milli ounce counts. No, it doesn't. Well, I would be totally naked if you weren't filming. Here we go. Man. Oh! 385 sucks! You've only gained 10 pounds in a year. Hey! Okay. You, you thought you were 400. I'd be happy if I, I was I really you. thought I was 360, okay? I thought I was 360 and it was going to be like a huge like surprise. Did you really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Aw, that's sad. <laughs> you know what? Okay. 3 to 5. Now we know. Now we know. 
diet starts right now. Agreed. Right now, we are officially on the path to weight loss. To weight loss. Oh, what the? Hi. What's up? What up? Hey. Hey. Y'all hungry? Yes? Yes, actually, very. We just started a diet 10 minutes ago. Yeah. You told me you wanted me to cook for you. Yeah, but I didn't think you would actually do it. This is like a sign. This is a sign that we don't need to ever diet. No, I brought vegetables. <gasps> okay. Ooh. He's cooking vegetables? Ew! Guys, this is healthy junk food. If you've never seen their channel, subscribe below. This is Julia. And what's this? What is, the, what is this? Is that the Little Rascals? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, help, help. That's how she does it, you guys. Hi. It was really weird when she met my mom. It was very strange. That's JP. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not as good when he does it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not as adorable. <laughs> it's like when he, she does it. Oh, when he does it. What the? <laughs> what is he doing right now? Well, we literally just announced two minutes ago that we were dieting. Now we're not. What are you cooking? Dude, you gotta stop giving your fans my phone number. They keep texting me. Is that happening? Yeah. I gave nobody your phone number. It must have leaked. It must have leaked. Yeah, I didn't give your phone number out, but if you wanna call them. <laughs> yeah, this is our massive utensil drawer. Nothing you actually want, but something you're gonna have to find. We don't have any metal spatulas, all this plastic. No, it's good. It's, you like Marie Kondo this drawer. It's really nice. Yeah, Betty Crock with the hell out of it. <laughs> Usually this is made with frozen meat. I'm not joking. Why did you get frozen meat then? Julia's just like, why are you gonna get regular ground beef and frozen ground beef? It's because I want to make you my favorite world-class cheeseburger, and that is fresh meat, and then chopped cheese is made with frozen burgers. Yeah. Okay. And you're making a recipe for the kid behind the camera over here, uh -huh. and you can't get the frozen meat. You're right. I mean, listen, I'm very particular about what I eat. You know, I, I, I watch my figure. <laughs> for, I can't have anything processed, so. This is this is 80-20, it's not that bad for you. Uh, I need 20, what's the math? 20, 80? I think you'd want, you want 100, that'd be 100% lean. I just, no, I want 100% fat. 100, oh, oh, you want <laughs> I'm going the other way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so, I want yeah, I want 80-20 fat ratio, man. That is a big daddy right yeah, there. Ready? Going on. I got some seasoning going on these guys though. JP is preparing for his job as a line cook when YouTube like flares out on him. Oh nice. That's Lowry seasoned salt. That's the secret ingredient. See, we're Hello. learning from JP today, dude. It's so cool. So that's how you do a burger like this. You leave the wax on? A little bit. If you had parchment, it'd be a little bit better. Because parchment won't melt that well. I don't want to like hate on Mr. Pickle Boy's equipment, but obviously by the cast iron. Let's, <laughs> let's bump it up a notch. Well, you know, we had a cast iron skillet, but we gave it to our dad and he threw it away. I was gonna say, did you break it somehow? Because I don't think you can break a cast iron skillet. I'm sure we, I'm sure we tried at one point. We're like, yeah, we, this ain't happening. You want it hot? Because if you don't get it hot, you won't get that, that char. Like it's all about that char. I've never been able to get the good char. That's because you want the cast iron. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They don't use cast iron in Shake Shack. They have a chrome grill. Do they? Do you know that much about yes, that? Yes, I do. Damn, what do you do? I, I know. Okay, this one's ready to flip. Look at that. Oh, oh look, at, look at that. What the How? hell? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's got the char on it. Yeah. I am jealous. I know, I got it. I now know. I know it's possible at this house to make this burger. Yeah, you've got to have the, the pans like blazing hot. That looks so good, JP. I know. What about lettuce and tomato that you bought? You're not going to put vegetables That'll on That'll be for it? the chopped cheese. I got to be honest, I think I'm going to JP's <laughs> You, you good with that? You good with that? Wait, 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 yeah, they don't know what I just said. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Dude. That looks like Bill Grace. I know, I make them like Bill Grace. Oh my <laughs> god, so bro. Fucking good. Oh, sh <laughs> my, my burger sucks, bro. <laughs> That's like the best burger, I swear. It's mm. such a good burger. 
Bridget, why don't you take a bite of the... You're gonna make another one though, right? I'll make another. I got it. Make sure you get a crispy side. Yeah, get one of them crispy sides, yeah. It's so good. How come my burger doesn't got a crisp like that? I don't know. You still love me? All right, thank God. We survived the burger challenge. Oh what? So you know I got herpes, but mm. I guess. <laughs> you be straight. You want some too, Julia? Yeah, why are these people sharing the same food? It's mm. so disgusting. Man, that is a good burger, ma'am. Mm. Damn, JP. Yeah. You gotta cook this more often. I know. I'm a huge burger connoisseur, it's my favorite food. Did you just wipe it on your dress? I think that would just happen. No. <laughs> no. It might look like it though. Normally this is made with the frozen meat, but JP and I made it fancy for you guys. Oh, uh, fancy pants. Real meat. The reason you <laughs> what the hell is in the frozen patties? Exactly, I don't know. No, 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 frozen is just tougher, and the reason that you can use frozen is because the whole point of this is to break it up. Do what, two tomatoes? <laughs> Now they do it a lot better at the bodegas because they have more room. Holy this thing. Oh my god. I can already tell. Here it is, you guys. The chopped cheese from JP. Yes. <laughs> Crazy. Yes. Oh. So good. That's better than a burger. Yeah, right? For some reason, it's just so incredible. Shit. No, that's actually better than her. Take another bite. Right. Cause it's like what you want. I gotta, I gotta build it better. There's a way you can stuff it in there, like it's almost like a, a like it's stuck in the bread. I just gotta cut it differently. Holy brother! Did you just get a bite of like bread and lettuce? <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys like this. And if you guys at home are watching this, JP actually made a recipe for this on the channel and we went to a bunch of bodegas in New York City to try to figure it out. You can check out that video and make this yourself at home. It really is that good. It's so good. It's like crispy meat and the, the tomato is fresh. Jesus. All right. That's your local Publix down the street. <laughs> you done it, JP. You finally cooked and it was worth it. Yes. It's still burgers or pizza. Yes, junk. Hey, that's my favorite food, man. Both of them. You remember that giant burger pizza thing with the pizza buns? Dude, pizza it was insane. That was actually really good. That came out pretty good. It, it actually, yeah, it tasted pretty good, actually. For something that seemingly shouldn't have. Calm down. No, Michael, look! Yeah, I see it. You don't know for sure anything happened, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, Jenny. It's just a flat tire. I'll buy you another one. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, it is flat. People always gotta pick on a mother. A single mother, kids. What do you mean pick? It's just a flat tire, Jenny. I don't know, man. Don't break it. <gasps> what? Oh, oh my God. What? Uh, okay. Okay, now it's somebody messing with you, okay. Is that state goal? Okay, we can't blame people no, for this. No, that's the only person it's gotta be. Who else would mess with me? Why'd you take it out? I don't know, were you dust it for fingerprints? I was gonna call the cops. This little it was her, I saw her drive by last night. I saw the silver car drive by last night. Okay, well, you know what? The cops aren't gonna work on hearsay. So, it sucks, I mean, do you want to call the cops seriously? I do want to call the cops, but I also want to say something else. You, you, you could put a knife in my tire, but you can't stop at my house after I said, come get some. Okay, relax. Seriously. We don't know it was her. Yeah, she egged my, it was her, obviously. It was obviously her, her and that ghouly witch person. Stupid. You know what? Nothing. Not on vlog. Yeah! Okay. No. What? I didn't do anything to you, bro. You. Great. What? I don't have anything to take the lug dots off with. Well, then you know what? Your car is just going to sit here. Because I. Well, how are we supposed to go to dinner, Michael? You just ain't coming, dude. I'm hungry. We're going to go. Bridget, you ready? Yeah, I'm 
I'm ready, but Michael. We can't just leave her. Because of Tuna. What are we supposed to do? Crystal, how's your car work? It runs. Okay, well, there we go. flat tires. We don't need it to jog. We just need it to get there. Good? Yeah. That work?